So we are back here again for some more friendly competition for breast cancer awareness and education. So we loosened up a little bit. We're ready to answer some more questions. We spun the wheel and we have landed on breast MRI. So let's see what our question is. What is a breast MRI? <laughs> Dr. Snyder. So a breast MRI is another test that we use in breast imaging. It uses a magnetic field and a little dose of IV contrast to detect breast cancers that we may not see under the other tests that we use, such as mammography and ultrasound. Great information. Let's keep spinning the wheel. risk factors. We haven't had this one. Can I reduce my risk factors of breast cancer? <laughs> I think that means he has to answer. Wow, <laughs> very competitive. I <laughs> we might have a dual answer here. Go ahead. So um, risk factors for breast cancer are many. Um, so the most common risk factor for breast cancer is being female. Um, and also getting older. Most people don't think of those because we can't change that. Uh, things that we can change um, are what we eat, um, alcohol increases breast cancer risk, so even one glass a day slightly increases risk, which is really not all that much. Um, being overweight also increases breast cancer risk. Having a family history, having a genetic mutation can increase risk, and also um, having a biopsy that would show atypical cells are some of the more common risk factors for breast cancer. Great information. All right, let's keep spinning. All right, breast reconstructive surgery. Are we ready for this one? After breast cancer surgery, am I eligible for breast reconstruction? <laughs> I think that means you have to answer it. <laughs> Let's hear that. I think that's in your scope, Dr. Ringer. It is. So, um, absolutely. So, um, breast reconstruction can happen in a couple different settings. And the most common is when a woman has a mastectomy, so having her whole breast removed, and then reconstruction is done to rebuild the breast. Most commonly done at the same time, but can also be done later for a variety of reasons. Some women who have a lumpectomy, if they do have a noticeable change in their breast, can also see a plastic surgeon and talk about reconstruction options. Great information. We're gonna spin two more times. You ready, Dr. Snyder and Dr. Ringer? Breast MRI. Are we ready? What should I expect during the exam and how long does it take for a breast MRI? <laughs> Dr. Snyder. So <clears throat> the breast MRI, like uh, we talked about earlier, it uses the magnetic field of a very, very strong magnet. Um, and so you have to get undressed. We put your breast in, a, in slight compression. You'll be face down. Then you get onto the table, you go into the magnet, which is a bore or a hollow tube. And then the exam takes about 40 to 45 minutes, and that's after you get a little injection of IV dye, in which during the exam, you'll listen to some nice music of your choice, and you'll have earplugs to uh, accommodate with any noises from the machine. When the exam is over, the IV is removed, you're able to go home, and you usually have the results of the test uh, same day or next day. Great, and you get the music of choice? Of course. Of course, <laughs> all right, last one, are we ready? Will I have a standard mammogram or 3D mammogram, and how is that decided? Dr. Snyder. So right now, uh, 
3D mammography is, uh, is not the standard of care, but it certainly is becoming the standard of care. It has been shown to detect additional uh, malignancies that aren't uh, discovered on the regular mammography, especially in those women who have dense breasts. Mm -hmm. So right now that we uh, recommend that patients consider 3D mammography if they have dense breasts, but it also may benefit patients that uh, have uh, less than dense breasts. And it uh, has been shown to increase the cancer detection rate in those patients too. So we recommend uh, the patient get it uh, if they have dense breasts and the patient can opt for it if, it if they don't have dense breasts. That's great. And we know we have 3D MAMO here available at Bluffton Medical Campus as Correct. well as Hilton mm -hmm. Head Hospital. That's great. Well, thank you for the friendly competition today. <laughs> Both are winners, right? Oh. Woo! Thank you for joining us. And for more information, check out HiltonHeadRegional.com.